In this video, I'm going to go over how to create a multiplication table in C. So we're going to store the dimensions of our multiplication table into the variable n. And we'll actually ask the user to enter the dimension. So here we'll say printf, enter dimension. And then we'll use a scanf, and we'll store what they enter into the variable n. Now it's not going to make any sense to have a multiplication table with dimensions of negative 1 or 0. So we'll actually do some input validation here, and we'll make sure that what is entered is greater than 0. So while n is less than or equal to 0, we're going to ask them to enter that value again. And we'll actually warn them as to what went wrong. So here we'll say if n is less than or equal to 0, printf dimension must be greater than 0. So now that we have a dimension that is 1 or greater, the first thing we're going to do is output the column headings of our multiplication table. Now, the top left corner of multiplication tables tends to have a X for multiplication in the top left corner. So I'll actually put that here. We'll say printf percent 5s and then X. So what we're doing here is we're outputting a string with percent %s. And the string we're going to output is the string X. Now, the 5 here is going to output that string into a field of width 5 characters. And we're going to make all of our outputs into fields of width five characters. The reason why we're going to do that is so we get nice equal width columns throughout our table. So next what I'm going to do is output the numbers from one to n, and I'll put those into five character width fields as well. So here I'll say four int i is equal to one, i is less than or equal to n, i plus plus. And then we'll have printf percent 5d, and we'll output i. And then after we're done this, we'll output a new line to end that first row of column headings. Now to actually produce the grid of products, what we're going to have to do is have a doubly nested loop, because we're going to have to multiply essentially i times j, looping i and j from 1 to n. So we'll have 4 int i is equal to 1, i is less than or equal to n, i plus plus. And then we'll have an inner loop, 4 int j is equal to 1, j is less than or equal to n, j plus plus. And then in here, we're going to multiply i times j. And these two loops working together, going from 1 to n for i and 1 to n for j, are going to give us that 2D grid of products that we need. So next, let's actually properly output this number into a field that is five characters in width. So we'll say printf percent 5d, and we'll output i times j into that field. We'll also have to output the row heading here. So we'll say printf percent 5d, and we'll output i. And then after we're done outputting the row, we'll output a new line. So the next row starts on a new line. So again, what's going on here is that this loop here, the outer loop, is responsible for each row. And we're going from 1 to n with i. Then within each row, this logic here is going to output each column of that row. The first column is going to be the row heading. This here is going to be the product of whatever i is for that row and whatever j is for that column. And then we're done outputting all of the products. We output a new line. So let's save this and give it a try. It'll compile now and we'll give it a dimension of let's say 10 to start. So we'll say enter dimension, we'll put in 10. And we get this nice 10 by 10 multiplication table here. Now we could close this here and we could try something like seven. And now we get a seven by seven multiplication table. So this is how we can create a multiplication table in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.